Thanks. Thanks. I'd just like to, uh, to bring up two points. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, the gentleman while, during my presentation brought up the 11 percent uh, issue. I me immediately after I gave my remarks went to the Congressional Budget Office. It was a very clever attempt, Mr. Speaker, of the, the Rules Committee to try to confuse the American people. I'll, so I'll read directly from the CBO report so the record is clear. Based on the information from academic and other researchers, CBO estimates that H.R. 1256, which is the Waxman bill, which is not being heard here, it's the Kennedy bill, which is being referred here, uh, would result in further reduction in the number of underage tobacco users of 11 percent by 2019. CBO, here's, what he, here's the other part, the rest of the story that the Rules Committee did not share with, with the country. CBO also estimates that implementing H.R. Uh, 1256 would lead to a further decline in smoking by adults by 2 percent after 10 years. Wow. Wow. Now, let me refer to the other. Uh, too often, we should be careful about being cute here on the House floor. So cute means the reference with, with regard to lettuce. So I'll, I'll follow your logic. Do you realize if you were to take that lettuce, dry it, and roll it, and smoke it, and you go ahead and you smoke your lettuce, do you realize that you're going to end up with similar problems than if you were smoking tobacco? It's not the nicotine that kills. It's the smoke that kills. So it's the, it's the inhalation of the smoke. That's what causes and is responsible for the pandemic of cancers, of heart disease, respiratory disease, and other factors. It's the smoke. So the migration of people from the smoke into smokeless and other types of forms of therapies, if they want to obtain their nicotine, it's okay. Mr. Waxman himself would say, I, I do not want to outlaw tobacco.